What's up guys? I'm Andrew Freed from Base Freedom and today I'm going to show you how to slap just like flea. I have a way that I do it, my flea way. Flea is of course the bassist from the legendary funk, rock, punk group Red Hot Chili Peppers. The Red Hot Chili Peppers have been tearing it up for decades. Flea is one of the pivotal parts of making this group have their sound, and he slaps in tons of their songs. You can see throughout the decades that they've really evolved in terms of their sound, but there's one thing that's been stable, Flea's slapping. I'm gonna show you everything I know about his technique, his specific approach, and there's good news. Flea doesn't really do any what we call advanced slap bass. It's definitely flashy and fast, speedy at times, but he's not doing anything that's going to really require anything beyond the traditional slap and pop technique. <laughs> We're not going to do any of that advanced stuff. So grab your bass and let's go. All right, so for the basic technique, just with the thumb, Flea is aggressive. Everything he does, he's always digging in as hard as he possibly can, both finger style and with the slap. So the slapping motion, which we're going to do, is just turning at the elbow joint. He slaps. really freaking hard. A thing I notice him doing is he tends to keep his palm grounded on the bass. So it's a very short range of motion. Another thing I notice is he doesn't always slap at the end of the fretboard. Sometimes his thumb tends to drift and slap closer to where your fingers might be playing. And that's rare, rarer in my opinion, because I think a lot of people tend to aim for that sweet spot at the end of the fretboard. So adding the popping finger, another unique thing he does is he uses the second finger. A lot of people tend to use the first finger. I do. I slap differently than Flea, so I'm adjusting for this. But he um, definitely uses the second finger to pop and again, digs in. And then with my middle finger... palm against it, thumb and middle finger popping really aggressively. Some other slappers, I've evolved into this, tend to slap through the string. This allows for other techniques such as double thumb and it's just a more fluid approach for me. But Flea, you can get a lot of speed with the downward slap angle. That's another thing he uses, downward slap angle. The palm tends to be planted so that range of motion is not too much energy, but you can do a lot of flashy, speedy stuff because of that. Another thing I notice is his elbow angle it tends to be 90 degrees. This 90 degree angle just contributes to his very unique, one of a kind approach. It's really hard for me to dig in as much as Flea does. That really aggressive snapping and popping, it feels like he's gonna break his freaking strings. Can't be doing too much, even though it looks like he's doing a lot. It's a very small range of motion. That's what allows him to go so fast. If you guys are enjoying this video, I'd appreciate it if you could give it a like. It really helps boost the channel, and I'm definitely trying to do more videos like this, so it means a lot. Muting is the most important part of slapping because if you're banging and popping your strings and you're not muting, it's gonna sound like crap. So a big thing he does is sacrifice his technique in order to mute. If you look at him playing get up and jump, you'll see his hand is jumping up and down. You don't need to do that, but he does that just so he can really only be playing the string that he's supposed to be playing.
you can 100% sacrifice technique to get that muting in. We don't wanna hear strings ringing. Other techniques common in slap are hammer-ons and dead notes. Dead notes are the act of just popping and slapping the strings without holding down any notes. It's just a dead pitch. When you throw dead notes amidst a slap line, it can make it sound more percussive. So he does this in tons of his songs. There's a lot of similarities with his approach throughout the songs. You'll notice he loves octaves, he loves those dead notes, and he really loves hitting the flat seven. If you're not a music theory person, the flat seven is two frets below the octave. So it creates this box-like pattern amidst his playing. And you can move those patterns for when they work over certain chords. He does that all the time. Flea is a legend, but the good news about his slapping technique is while it might look flashy and crazy to the eye, once you actually sit down and rank it on all the type of slap techniques, it's very much in the beginning of traditional slap and pop. Just good old thumb slapping and tugging on the strings, popping them, and adding a little bit of techniques which you might have already done before. Hammer-ons, dead notes, pull-offs, all those just ornamentational elements of the bass, which really add some flavor to it. It's kind of a trick to the ear. When you play a lot of eighth notes or you play simple things and then add a lot of rhythm between that, it makes it sound harder. So that's good news. What's not good news is that it's gonna take time if you're a beginner or just getting to the slap world. On Bass Freedom, which is my website, you can access the Slap Basics course, which will show you from complete scratch how to slap, not just like flea. So that's all we're gonna do for today, guys, and I will see you next time. Peace.